And here's a look at some good things happening in western New York. So when you think of camping, you may think you may have to rough it, right? Well, that is no longer the case because you can go glamping. Thank goodness for uh -huh. that. Yeah, Jackie, exactly. you join us with more on that. Well, I've done my share of maybe what we call dirty camping, but I think glamping is more my style. And the woods at Bear Creek Resort is all the wilderness that you can handle, but there are cabins and get this, tents that have bathrooms, full beds, big screen TVs. So you can have all the fun camping without the hassle. There are log cabins overlooking a beautiful lake, but this isn't your typical campground. Wouldn't it be great to have the people of Western New York experience what it's really like to have what they call in Europe glamping, which is glamorous camping. Teresa Riley is with the woods at Bear Creek. She says owner John Hutchins wants it to be a unique experience for campers and non-campers. But what exactly does glamping mean? Well, they still want you to get your feet dirty if you choose. You can enjoy fishing, hunting, and their zip line. But there's a twist, and their target is women. Men have experienced the great outdoors forever while women were home. Oh, honey, when are you coming back from your hunting trip? And now the women can come and the men can still go out hunting and the women can still be having fun. They can go to the spa, they can come to the fine dining restaurant, go in the Olympic size swimming pool. But they say it's where you'll wash up and sleep that has people curious. This is one of the cabins with a full bathroom, double sink, TV, leather couch, and comfy bed. But that's not all. In the warm months, we're also going to have glamping tents, which are safari style tents on platforms with carpeting in them and uh, uh, furniture, bed. What we're trying to bring is, is a very upscale, five-star service to people in the area. And the un uniqueness of it is that we're going to do it in a glamping site. Then sit by a cozy fire in the heart of an upscale restaurant, but the fun doesn't stop once winter's over. The facility is open year-round. We have a lot of activities in the summer with the in-ground swimming pool, the tennis courts, canoeing, boating, fishing. And then in the winter, for the people who ski, we're 10 minutes away from Ellicottville. And they say it's fun for the entire family, whether you love camping or the idea of five-star accommodations. You can enjoy all the comforts at home, but enjoy everything nature has to offer as well. And they also say they're working out some of the pricing, but hope to keep the prices lower than the surrounding hotels. They also want to um, open up before the holiday season, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And the greatest thing about it is they're going to bring about four dozen wow. jobs back to the area. So it's great really great for the economy and a lot of fun for Western New Yorkers to experience this glamping. And I had a blast when I was there. I really had a lot of fun. And I was set for the weather, though. I mean, you saw it snowing in, right. in those pictures in those video. Um, I was really set for the weather. But they also say they target women and that doesn't mean that women can't go hunting or can't go and get like I said their feet dirty but this is so they go back to their hotel or they go back to their cabin they have the shower to clean up they have the TV if they want to rest so it's just like the best of both worlds and in the middle of the night you don't have to go outside to go exactly. to the bathroom. <laughs> exactly. you can stay warm in the comfort of your own cabin yeah, and you can go like camping in the winter time, which I would never do that. I mean, I would go camping in the summer, maybe, but you know. So now that you can do it in the winter and the summer, so it's a lot of fun. Love that. Too cool. Mm -hmm. And if there's good things happening in your neighborhood, you can send us an email at goodthings at wkbw.com.